Hello future money moguls, my name is Kaylin the Mogul and if you're new to my channel, welcome. If you're a subscriber, welcome back. Today we are going to continue our grant series and talk about bank sponsorships. So I briefly spoke about bank sponsorships in one of my previous videos, but I wanted to go into more in-depth um, video about it. So today we're going to talk about what a bank sponsorship is. So if you're a small business or a nonprofit or you're looking to start a small business or nonprofit, this is going to be a video that you're interested in because we are going to be talking about less competitive grants and still no loans, no credit checks, none of that headache. Um, you're having the ball in your court when it comes to um, getting these grants. So. What a sponsorship is, a bank sponsorship, is when a particular company, whether it be a small business or an organization, gets with a financial institute and they decide to partner together for a common initiative or common cause. Say, for instance, my credit repair business decided to partner with TD Bank and I want to bring financial literacy to my community. That would be a sponsorship. They would provide either financial support um, resources or some type of promotional opportunity to the community for me to bring in some type of um, benefit for the bank, whether that be them bringing more attention to their different products that they have or what have you. So how do you get this? So first things first, you want to um, research and prepare because you're putting the ball in your court. You have the ball in your court and you're telling them, hey, I have this idea and I wanted to bring it to you so that we can do this to have whatever result, end result that you see in mind. So when you're researching, you want to look at banks that have a history of sponsoring small, uh, similar initiatives as you. And I typically, before we get into that, I typically say it's best to start off with banks that are smaller in your community if you're a small business. Now, if you're a bigger business, then, you know, you can go for the Chase regions and um, Bank of Americas, all of that. But if you're a smaller business, I would say go with a smaller bank that's within your community. For instance, I'm in Louisiana, and I would go with, um, a, say, for instance, a Red River Bank. Or if you wanted to go with a credit union, there is um, Neighbors Federal Credit Union. So that's what I would do. It's always up to you, but it's even less competition when you do it that way. So like I said, you want to research and prepare. So you want to look for banks that have a history of uh, sponsoring smaller initiatives. You also want to understand their goals. You want to make sure that both of you all's goals are aligned. And then you want to prepare a proposal. Yes, there's no getting around it. The thing that I will say is it's not going to have to be a long, drawn-out proposal that you are going to provide for them. And so we're going to go on to crafting your proposal, what that's going to entail. And with that, it's going to be five things. You want to make sure you have your introduction. You want to briefly introduce your organization and its mission. You should already have your mission because, like I tell all of my clients, you need to have a business plan and a mission statement. All of these things are important when it comes to even... Um, you want to have your business put on paper even before, you know, it is brought into fruition. So after that, you want to make sure you have your project description. You want to explain the project or the event um, that you need the sponsorship for. Then you want to um, talk about the sponsorship benefits because they're going to always want something. You don't get anything for free. <laughs> you want to just outline um, to the bank how they would benefit from sponsoring you. You want to include brand exposure and community goodwill. Let them know, yeah, they'll, they'll know that you're doing this for the community. Um, budget. Budget is self-explanatory. You want to provide a detailed budget and explain how the funds will be used. Then you want to do a call to action. You want to clearly state that you are what you're asking for and how the bank can get involved. And so with this, what I'm going to do for the proposal I'm going to add a description uh, in the description bar. I'm going to add a prompt that you can use because if you're not good with um, writing or you're not familiar with the grant world and you don't know what it is that you need to write, then I'm going to make sure that I put a prompt so that you can use an AI tool um, such as ChatGPT and it will create a template for you so you can just plug in what it is that you're looking for. So. Um, when you're sending this email, I want to just say you want to be um, 
you want to make sure that you're focusing on um, building relationships with them in this email. You don't want it to just seem like it's one-sided and you want them to get to know you again, which is why I say you want to work with those banks or credit unions that are smaller banks or credit unions that are within the community so that they have the same mission that you have. And then after you do this, you want to just simply send a follow-up um, message, send a thank you note, and keep the bank informed about the project's progress. So even if they don't say yes right away, you can still just let them know, hey, we have this, this, and this going on. And some of the, the um, banks, they may start at like five or $10,000 when it comes to, you know, the sponsorships that they give you. And you can, um, you can give them like different tiers and you want to possibly get multiple banks involved instead of just going to one bank you want to get multiple banks and make sure that you don't have to pay anything out of pocket for these different um, projects that you're using so i hope that uh, this information that i provided for you today was helpful and you were able to get some tips like i said i'm going to be linking in the description a um, prompt that you can use yourself so that you can um, send out these emails and look like a professional and a boss when you're doing it. And whenever you get your response back, please make sure you um, comment below and let me know what your experience was. If you like this video, please make sure you like it, comment, and subscribe. And also share it with someone that you think would benefit from this, whether they have a small business or nonprofit or they're looking to start a small business or nonprofit. But that's all for today. Um, until next time, peace.